one this is Eddie from Like Yo Eddie Plays giving you another deck profile this time on Nouvelles with this one uh, it's still from Wild Survivor set it didn't really get any much updated cards on post Duelist Nexus but let's get into the deck profile real quick first off the first monster Borrelia I just call it Borrelia I've run two copies of that this one, it says, you can ritual summon this card with any recipe card. If it is, if this card is special summon, excavate the top five cards from your deck. And if you do, add one excavated new veil card to your hand and shuffle the rest into your deck. When a card or text is activated that targets this card on the field, or when a card is targeted for attack, quick effect. You can tribute this card and target one attack position monster on the field and if you do special summon a level two or three new veils ritual monsters from your hand or deck you can only use the effect of this monster once per turn that is a mouthful to say the best way to say it is the new veils have almost the same repetitive effect so instead of repeating the text box you kind of know that they they're either targeted or if they uh if they're targeted in general for both by card effect or uh, by attack, they just tribute themselves off, summon them, summon off, uh, summon themselves off into a ritual monster that's a uh, level higher or lower. If I'm correct, if I stated that correctly, uh, no, a uh, level higher or two level higher than from what it's original. So if this is a one, it could go into a two. If it's or it could go into a three, whichever one is your situation. So this one excavates the top five cards. The next one that's on the set, Confria, Confria. I don't know. I'm botching the name, but it's a chicken plated dish. But when this one is summoned off, you can target a spell trap on the field, destroy it. It doesn't have to be your opponent's. You can target your own. So if there's something you want to pop in the back row, go ahead. Uh, same thing, summons itself off, goes into a level 3 or level 4 monster of the new veils. I run two copies of that. Next one. It is Poletis de Noël. Again, please don't judge me that I botched the name on it. This one looks like to be a fish dish. And when it is special summoned, you can draw a card. Uh... Same thing, but this one goes into level 4 or 5. Run two copies of that as well. This one I only won one copy of. I'll read, I'll show you the card. Foil Glacier. And I'll read the effect over here. If this card is special summon, you can target up to three cards in your graveyard. Shuffle them into the deck. So it recycles a lot. The way I play this deck, it recycles. Next one is the... Uh, Oh yeah, by the way, the Foy Glass 8, I've run one copy, but let's go back into this one. Bala, I just call him Bala, because I don't know how to say the full name. Bala Nmuer. Nmuer? I don't know. I said it wrong. Again, don't judge. Because most of these cards are in French, and I'm not very good with French, so please excuse me. Um, if this one tends to be special summon, or if this one is special summon, add a Nouvelle or Recipe card from the deck to your hand. And then uh, this one is different from the smaller level ones, from the level 4 and 1. Uh, if this, you can target one attack position monster you control, you can tribute it. And if you do, you can special summon a level 6 Novell's Retro monster from your hand or deck. So this one could literally tribute uh, your opponent's monsters and summon out one of your own monsters from your deck or hand. Specifically the Novell's. Uh, this is a quick effect if this is special summoned by the Novell's monster. You can only use the effect of it once per turn. It's a 2k body with 1850 defense. Weird defense stats, but it still holds itself on. Next one I call Grimace. Hard to see with the camera not wanting to focus today. But its name is Val Grill. And with this one, it is... If this card is special summoned, you can negate the effect of all face-up cards your opponent controls. 
all face up cards. Not targeting, all cards. It kind of turns everything off uh, until the end of the turn. So you have that one shot to get rid of everything. If this card is special summoned by the effect of a Nazal monster, you can tribute as many monsters your opponent controls as possible. Quick effect. Then you can target one attack resistant monster your opponent controls, tribute it, and if you do, special summon Hungry Hamburger from the hand or deck. You can only use this effect once per turn. 24k attack, 1850 defense. And of course we have the OG Hungry Hamburger. This one reprinted it in, uh, I want to say ulti. No, I, I probably did them wrong. I think it's a super. I call these supers. It's just a regular vanilla Hungry Hamburger we run one copy of. Next we have the Incantation Chalice Line. We run one copy of its effect. You can ritual summon this card with Incantation Inception. You can reveal this card from your hand, discard one card, and if you do, special summon Incantation Monster from your deck. Also during the end phase, you lose 2500 life points if you do not ritual summon that turn that this card effect resolved. So you gotta make sure you ritual summon Chalice Line. If not, you're gonna take 25. And you want your life points for this duel, especially for this deck. Uh, there's also an additional effect here. I got like sidetracked. You can send one incantation card from your hand or face up on the field to the graveyard, then target one monster your opponent controls, destroy it. So you can target itself and send it to the hand. Or, uh, yeah, you can target itself and then target a card on the field and destroy it. You can only use uh, the effect per turn and once only during that turn. It has 25 18. And then, of course, ritual decks always run Manju. Kind of helps you search your ritual spells and uh, ritual monsters. We run three copies of Manju of the 10,000 Hands. We can also use it for Wink and Ritual Fodder. And we run a small incantation package using one candle, one pencil plume, one talismandra, and one bookstone. Each of them has an effect. Uh, one of them can search out the ritual monsters, one of them can search out the ritual spells, one of them can get the ritual monsters from the grave, another one can get the ritual spells from the grave. So it helps recycle the deck a lot. And of course, the last piece of incantation, Incantation Inception. This card is pretty interesting. Because this card is used to ritual summon, any, this card can be used to ritual summon any ritual monster. You must also tribute incantation monster from your hand or field whose total level equal or exceeds the level of the ritual monster. If this card is in your graveyard, you can send an incantation card from your hand or face up on the field to the grave, and you can add it. And yeah, from the hand or field to the grave, except uh, Inception. Special summon one incantation monster from your deck, then add this card back to your hand from the grave. You can only use this effect once per turn. So again, this deck recycles a lot. So make sure you don't get hit with the uh, ghost spell. Make sure they don't DD crow you. Like th this card, this deck can recycle itself, and it doesn't have to worry about anything. Next up, we run three copies of Novell's Restaurant at table. If this card is activated, add a, add a recipe card from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Once per turn, you can uh, place one ritual monster from your hand or on the bottom of the deck, then draw a card. Once per turn during the end phase, you can target two cards in the graveyard, and one of them has to be a recipe card. You can place them at the bottom of your deck in any order, then draw a card. You can only activate the effect of restaurant at table per turn. Again, continues to recycle three copies of. Then three copies of today's menu. Voice la carte. Reveal two novel monsters with different names from your deck. Your opponent chooses one and add, but and you add it to the hand, and you shuffle the other into the deck, and then you can add one of these cards from your deck or grave to your hand based on the monster type they chose. Beast warrior, you choose the fish recipe. Warrior type, you choose the meat recipe, and you can only activate uh, today's menu once per turn. And then I use two copies of meat recipe. It 
Honestly, the recipe cards don't matter unless you want the certain effect. I run two and two. Two meat recipes and two fish recipes. The meat recipe has the same effect as the fish recipe to just start summon the veil monsters, uh, ritual monsters, uh, from the hand to the field. Meat recipe does an additional effect if you use the actual same recipe that it's used for. You can change all defense position monsters to your opponent's controls to attack position, and it is this one with the male chef, the female chef, the fish recipe. Her additional effect is add one recipe ritual spell from your deck or graveyard to your hand, except for itself, which is fish recipe. Then, of course, with any ritual deck, three copies are pre prep. I don't have to explain that. It just helps search out the deck. Then the three copies of Preparation Rites helps to both search and recycle the deck from the grave. One copy of Instant Fusion, I'll show you that in a bit. If you cannot get your hands on three copies of Triple Tactics, you can use whatever package you want. The Ash Blossom package, Effect Veiler package, whatever you feel comfortable with. I just use three Triple Tactics because my opponent always has to respond with something since I search so much. And I'd rather just get the additional draws or take control of their stuff. This is the token generator, the uh, staff recipe. It is the final recipe in the deck. You can target the original monster you control. Special summon a Nivelle's token. That's a level 1 with 50 attack, 50 defense. The token becomes the same level as the monster you targeted. And then you can send this face up card. From your spell trap zone to the graveyard, ritual summon one new veils ritual monster from your hand by tributing a monster from your hand or field whose uh, level total equals exactly that ritual monster. You can only use the effect of a uh, staff recipe once per turn. And then, of course, to uh, Chef's special recipe. When a spell trap or monster effect is activated while you control a Nouvelle's ritual monster, negate the activation. Then you can destroy that card. And if you do, and if you can destroy that card, and if you uh, control a monster that was special summoned by the effect of a Nouvelle's monster, like I said earlier, how they tag out, you can special summon Hungry Hamburger. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Tribute as many monsters from your opponent's grave. Uh, you can banish this from the graveyard. Tribute as many monsters your opponent controls as possible. And you can only use this effect once per turn. So pretty much, uh, if you happen to use uh, the Nouvelles in order to climb up to the level 6 and get close to the Hungry Hamburger, just summon out the burger. It's kind of pretty much just eats up your opponent's field with all the monsters they control. And that's the main deck. I'll get to the extra deck. With the extra deck, I'm going to go rapid fire on this one. And uh, we are going to use one copy of Dark, because we use a lot of Dark monsters in here. Two copies of Dynamondo. In any ritual deck, you at least want to run one or two. Helps recycle a lot. And brings out the ritual monsters back out. I'm using uh, two underclock takers because I can't figure out what else to use. Uh, I am using the uh, the relinquished uh, package to just swallow up the field. I'll link Karibo, good defense. I'll Mirage because I can get in. I can get into it. I do run the nightmare package, which is a phoenix. Uh, Cerberus and a Unicorn and another uh, Instant Fusion target El Shadal Window which combos off with uh, Beat Cop from the Underworld and this took me a while to get my hands on Underworld Goddess of the Closed World to swallow up my opponent's field so I just pretty much make sure that I eat up my opponent's field make sure they're, I break their board or eat up the board and then kind of establish what I can and just slowly chip away at their life points. Lastly, this is a side deck. I just kind of threw things together. 
hamburger recipe just for the fun of it. Again, you don't have to run exactly every single card I have because sometimes it's hard to get. I have three copies of Forbidden Droplet, a Monster Reborn. I do have a small virus package in here. If I want to change the deck into the Hungry Hamburger uh, food poisoning deck to swallow up my opponent's deck. I do have the lore package in here, three copies. And lastly, just to get even, three copies of even, evenly matched to clean out the board. So yeah, that's the whole deck. So yeah, if you want to see more deck profiles, just go to my Instagram whenever I post them. See which one you want to look for next. I think the next one I will make is the Gate Guardian deck since the new uh, Fusion support came out and as Duelist matches. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.